The next step after the ride height is adjusted is to set the camber. The camber is how much the top of the tire is leaning in or out in reference to the bottom of the tire. So it's, you know, like this. When you talk about negative camber, the top of the tire is in compared to the bottom of the tire. Uh, most of the time, the, the car is looking for some negative camber. On this, uh, you could set it up pretty aggressively for the track. I like in the front uh, a degree and a half. So I have this whole system, a string system for doing an alignment, and it includes setting the camber and, and uh, caster, which is how the uh, upright is oriented, whether it's leaning back to a, you know, or forward. You want a lean back on the caster, otherwise if it's going like this, it ends up like a shopping cart where the, the tire wants to vibrate all over the place. It's not a pleasant feel, feeling in the steering. I had a car that, that did that. So we're not working on a perfectly level floor, so the first thing I want to do is set up a level across the, you know, the tire and I turn on my digital level and putting that on top of there I can then push the zero button and it'll zero so no matter what the floor level it is this thing now thinks it's level which is what we want to reference the tire so this thing adjusts here so it sits in the lip between the, the rim and the tire itself and leaving this thing the same way it's oriented on there, put it on there and get a reading. And right now it's saying 3.4 negative camber. So I'm gonna write that down. I have a piece of tape up there, by the way, I'm just not writing on the frame. And so what's going to happen is I know how much I have to take away. So I don't have to keep lifting the car up, putting it back down, etc. I can lift it up and reference the rotor. You know, take a measurement off of that and that'll tell me that I know how much I have to minus. So right now I have to take away uh, almost two degrees quite a bit. So, and you do that, you know, one tire at a time, and then take, uh, all right, so I got to jack it up and take that tire off.